Hello, it is Monday the 26th of July and for my breakfast this morning I've got one of the Tesco cheese topped rolls for 204 calories. That's got butter on it is 74 calories for that. A fried egg which is 67 and honey roast ham which is 20 so 365 for my breakfast this morning. Dinner today is a tuna mayo jacket. Now I haven't had one of these for ages. For the jacket potato it's 157 calories for 162 grams. I've got 45 grams of tuna which is 72 calories lighter than light mayo which is 47 calories for 50 grams and then a salad which is 61 calories so 337 in total for my dinner today for a snack today i have got a slice of banana cake now this has been weighed as 58 calories and when i've put it into the app i couldn't find a homemade one i didn't do the ingredients so i've gone with 195 calories for a waitrose cake so that is my snack today with a coffee using milk for my allowance tea today is leftovers from yesterday so i've got the creamy roast chicken a uh, creamy roast creamy garlic chicken for 189 calories basmati rice for 100 grams is 117 calories and then pickled onions which i haven't had for ages for 34 so 340 for my dinner today which looks very beige welcome to my car now i've had to take a mum out this evening or this afternoon completely forgotten that i haven't recorded an outro to my video hence the reason why i'm in a car park recording it now so ended the day on 1259 calories with 452 left now, i'm not quite sure how that happened but it wasn't planned i didn't plan on ending on such low calories i don't think it's going to do me any bad things going to do me any what's the word i'm trying to think of don't think it's going to do me any harm but i do like to try and eat as many of my calories is that wrong? Somebody let me know below because I've heard that if you don't eat enough then you don't lose the weight anyway but the other part of me thinks that if you're eating less than what you should have had that you're going to lose anyway. Am I wrong in thinking that? I don't know. Let me know what you think below because I am no nutritionalist. I don't know what it should be but I'm guessing my body needs a certain amount and there we are. I don't know. Like I say I'm still quite new to all of this even though i've been doing it a couple of months now still quite new to it all um yeah so i ended way way under but that was probably because we had our food quite late in the night or not in the night but in the evening and i just didn't feel like a snack so because i didn't fancy anything i didn't have it what I am also going to do whether i'm in a car or not is my 2k subscriber giveaway so comment whatever you want to comment as normal but also in your comment at the end of it wherever just put 2k giveaway and I'll know that you've watched until the end and you want to be entered you may not want to be entered have I even told you what the prize is the prize now then in my last giveaway which is my thousand subscriber giveaway I did a goodie box I've decided that I'm not going to do that this time because by the time I'd collected everything and then posted it all off it ended up being probably around about the 20 pound mark which is not a huge amount but it's just to say thank you so much for your support so what i've decided i'm going to do this time is a 20 pound voucher and it means that the person that wins it can just get whatever they want out of it then which i think is better because obviously if i'm giving you stuff there may be things in there you don't like so that's what i'm going to do it's going to be a 20 pound gift voucher probably a one for all or a love to shop i'm not sure yet i'll have a little look and see which ones but that's all I want you to do. Drop me a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.